What's cracking, Code Clowns? This is Ed from I Bring Back, and I'm going to hit you right off the bat here with a huge slew of wildly copyright-protected imagery. And we're doing this because these are characters, and characters, in a way, are the focus of this video tutorial in R. We had spent some time in the last video on differentiating points in your plot, and characters are another way to do that. Now, not this type of character. We're going to be looking at these various character symbols you can employ. So, without further ado, let's take a look. So as has become our custom, we are going to get started with some nonsense data. We've got x, the range from negative 40 to 40, and y, x divided by pi. We have y called up on the screen here, but what we really want to do is keep learning about the basic plot command. So let's plot x and y. And not surprisingly, a pretty simple linear scenario. And we can modify the point character, which by default are these little hollow circles to be something else. And as you can see here, this is one of various places on the internet you can go to find out what the characters look like. So, one is the default character. We can do something a little bit more exotic. Let's do this Star David looking bad boy here for 11. And the way we set that parameter is with PCH. So inside the plot command, you set the PCH parameter equal to 11. You can just use numbers there. And when we look at this plot, what we're going to see is a bunch of stacked stars of David. That doesn't look all that nice. Maybe if we make our plot a little bigger, they'll spread out. That's fine. Once again, not a real good reason to do this other than to show you how. And the main reason we would want to do things this way is to differentiate various points on a plot. So let's take a look at how that's done. All right, so in my time between cuts off camera, I have been generating some more nonsense data, but this stuff has some information applied to it. Outside of the typos, what I've done is just make some heights and weights. We'll say inches and pounds because I live in America, and that's what I'm most familiar with. And we've also assigned some genders. So we've got 100 values for each, and we could do something like plot the height and the weight of all these people. And if we do that, we'll get a nice scatter plot of those things and if we want to add the gender onto the thing using point characters we'll try this pch equals gender and there we are look at that because we have just single character values here for the gender it gives us our males and females each represented by an m and an f on this plot so we can tell where our males are and where our females are now this is all across the board and not terribly informative because it's all been randomly generated. We'd expect males to be heavier than females and taller than females in general if we were to use real data but because this has all been randomly generated. They don't have uh, those properties in that way. But as we can clearly see they've been differentiated by the point character and if we wanted to get even fancier we could do color the same way if color was a factor. So Sneak back, teach us some more about color from the last video, color variables if you want to assign them uh, from a vector that's not just listing color names. You're going to have to cut it into a factor or force it into a factor. So let's try factor of gender. And when that's done, look at that. Our females are in black, our males are in red. We might want to change that to blue and red so that it you know, conforms with how we normally represent things. But it's easy to tell from these people that we had a light, tiny man over here and a big heavy female over here and it's easy to see which group each belongs to. So that's a very basic prime around point characters. You can use numbers to select the things. You can use individual letters. Uh, you can actually go and get other images and build your own if you want to get real fancy. But we're focusing on basic plot commands and that about covers point characters for today. So again, I'm Ed working for my bring back. I appreciate you spending your time watching these videos. We will continue to strive to make it worthwhile. So keep on coming back.